Okay everybody and welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be having a mob balloon race. We're going to be attaching balloons to all of our different sizes and shapes of mobs and seeing which ones get to the top of the map the quickest. Now balloons are kind of a unique item to Minecraft Education. You can get them in bedrock experimental mode uh, but we're going to dive in now and take a look at setting this one up and racing those mobs. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to require a little bit of setup. We're going to put a command block down and some fence posts to attach our balloons to. And the command block here is going to clear away those fence posts so that when the balloons that are attached to them um, are released, uh, when the fence posts disappear and turn to air. So let's put in a little lever there. There we go, that works perfectly. Next, we need to create some latex for our balloons. Uh, there's our latex helium lead and a die. There's the recipe there for the balloons and we'll start popping our balloons uh, in. Now, the next thing I want to do is build this big tower. We want, to, we want to make sure we know when our mobs have gotten to the top, so we'll go right to the top of the world. We'll build this kind of platform uh, that the balloons will hit when they get to the top. And uh, let's start, if we look at this here, this is a, a diagram I found online. This is the mass of the various different mobs that you can attach balloons to. So we will be expecting um, the fox and the chicken possibly to get to the top of this one quite quickly um, But uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to add in um, a black block every 10 so the just for some scale as we go up and uh, Here I am attaching the leads and leashing these various different mobs There's the chicken and the sheep and so on in the background there you can see mr. C. He's keeping an eye on us today making sure everything's safe and uh, Health and safety is being respected now here is uh, what it looks like when you attach the balloons to the mobs, get them floating around there. The fence post is just keeping them tethered in. So I'm going to shoot up to the top and uh, keep an eye on the platform at the top. And Mr. C down here is going to flick the switch. Good work, Mr. C. Now, um, off we go. And as you can see, the chicken is flying off to the top. Pig and sheep follow closely behind. Now. The cow and the mooshroom look to be going about the same speed. So we'll call that a tie for those two. I can't wait for those to get to the top. We'll probably let them off later on. Um, so let's get some more animals. Get a rabbit, donkeys, mules, horse. There we go. Is that an alpaca there? Yeah, throw an alpaca in there for a fun. And uh, shoot up to the top again and we'll let these guys loose. Let's see which one of these guys are going to get to the top first of all. And off the rabbit goes. Not quite as fast as the chicken. Uh, interestingly, uh, but off it goes. And these are, must all be the default speeds, the horse. I mean, yeah, the horse is ahead, you could argue, but I think that's just the way they're being released. Now, this is an interesting one. I'm going to get a wandering trader and take one of his alpacas and see if that's a different speed. Um, or is it a llama? I don't know. I'm going to try out some different mobs here to see if I can attach a balloon to them. Cats, it's not, it's not working. Let's summon an armor stand. That would be cool if we could get an armor stand floating. No, just just holds it. Doesn't float off anywhere. That's annoying. Um, iron golems. Oh, cool! You can attach a balloon to an iron golem. That's good. Um, let's leash him though first. Get back here. This guy's causing chaos over here, the iron golem. It's just destroying everything. Um, here's the view that Mr. C's got me attaching everything. We've got the panda and the skeleton horse in there as well. Uh, the panda you can't leash. I don't know why you can't leash a panda. Um, so I'll have to just send him up separately um, ahead of time and then just try and guess if he's as fast as the others. I imagine that the panda's default mass, so I imagine it'll be the same speed as everyone else. But let's send him up. Um, Mr. C's going to press the button. Up you go, panda. Good. The wandering trader's there waiting for his... Oh, look at the panda just hanging out there on his balloon. That's nice. Um, the wandering trader's kind of looking to get his alpaca back, I think. Anyway, let's let these guys loose. And interestingly, the iron golem, zombie horse, skeleton horse, and alpaca are all the same. The agent's in there for some reason. I don't remember him cropping up where he came into play. So, they're not catching up to the panda. Well, they might be catching up to the panda. Maybe the panda's heavier. Uh... And there they are hitting the top and oh dear then they fly back down and we get a view of them hitting the floor so let's get loads of mobs now let's get a few let's get like 20 of them and we'll try some baby ones as well because i'm interested to see if the baby ones 
uh, fly up a little bit quicker if they're a bit, little bit lighter or if they're just the same. I suspect that they're the same. Um, but it'll be interesting, a smaller mushroom, for example, should go up a little bit quicker. So let's start attaching these guys on. Uh, what else are we going to have in here? We need to get balloons on all of these guys. Uh, what else should we have? We need the pig and the sheep and all that kind of stuff for comparison, because they were quite quick. Uh, and obviously the chicken, we're expecting to win this. The chicken was the fastest by a long way. Now the other interesting thing is, on that document I had up earlier, the fox uh, was, was the same mass as the chicken, interestingly. Um, I can't imagine the fox going up that quickly, but we shall see. And the other thing is, I don't think you can leash the fox. Off the fox goes, attach, attacking the chickens, and I can't... Uh, maybe I need to put him in a pen or something like that, but I'll attach a balloon to the fox and just kind of eyeball it and see if the fox looks as quick as the chicken. First of all, I'll get all these guys attached. That fox is causing havoc over there, isn't it? It's a good job my chicken's up on a balloon up there, safe and sound out of the way. If you ever want to keep your chickens safe from a fox, put them up on a balloon. Off you go, fox. I'll see you up at the top. There's no way, there's no way that that fox is as fast as the chicken. Absolutely no way. Right, off they go, and the chicken takes the lead again. Pig and sheep closely pined, and oh, the baby, the baby cow and the baby mushroom are going at the exact same speed as everything else. I think the panda and the iron golem and stuff, they're all the same speed, aren't they? There's just a few that are a bit lighter. Let's just double check up to the top here. We should see the chicken coming out of nowhere. There it goes. Pig and sheep. Quickly behind it. Yeah, good. And the rabbit was kind of like in between, wasn't it? The panda and the fox have become entwined. I think the fox should be a little bit lighter than the panda, you would have thought. But they've kind of got clumped together. What a disaster. All these guys are just chilling out, floating around. The baby mushroom seems quite animated. I don't know if he's a bit nervous about going high. Um, let's see if we can... The chicken comes down a lot slower than the rest. Uh, let's see if, if we can separate this uh, panda and fox, because they're, there we go. They got a bit stuck together there. And yeah, the fox, once they got separated, the fox did get to the top a little bit quicker, didn't it? And here are the rest of them. The horse and donkey got a little bit of a lead, I don't know how. Oops, the mushroom's off. Um, good, right, back down to the bottom. Um, I wonder if you can attach a balloon to the agent. That would be highly unlikely, but let's give it a go. No, neither of these. Mr. C won't, have a, won't take a balloon either. That's a shame. Um, but not unexpected. So, guys, just a little bit of playing around there. The balloons are fun to make, fun to craft, fun to play around with. Little challenge, if you want to try and um, destroy a balloon with TNT, let me know if you managed it. I'm going to be looking at that in another video in a few weeks. Right, we are going to finish up there with today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back later in the week with some more videos and I'll see you all then.